I, James, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. I, James, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. My partner in life and my one true love. My partner in life and one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I'll, I'll cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I love you today, tomorrow, and forever. As I have given you my hand to hold. As I have given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. So help me God. So help me God. I, Caitlin, take you, James. I, Caitlin, take you, James. To be my husband. To be my husband. My partner in life and my one true love. My partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will love you faithfully through the best and the worst. I will love you faithfully through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. What may come, I will always be there. What may come, I will always be there. As I give you my hand to hold. As I give you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. So help me God. So help me God. Being in love is a good thing, but it is not the best thing. There are many things below it, but there are also things above it. You cannot make it the basis of a whole life. It is a noble feeling, but it is still a feeling. And in fact, whatever people say, the state called being in love usually does not last. If the old fairy tale ending, they lived happily ever after, is taken to mean they felt for the next 50 years exactly as they felt the day before they were married, then it says what probably never was nor ever could be true. Ceasing to be in love need not mean ceasing to love. Love in this second sense, love as a distinct from being in love, is not merely a feeling. It is a deep unity, maintained by the will and deliberately strengthened by the habit. Being in love first moved from them to promise fidelity. This quieter love enables them to keep the promise. It is on this love that the engine of marriage is run. Being in love was the explosion that started it. very, very lucky to be a part of this day. Over the last eight years I got to know James and Caitlin, I've always felt like from the very beginning that we were family. Right from the very beginning you both were so welcoming and I can't tell you how much I really appreciate it. Love is a friendship that has caught fire. May your love for each other burn bright for years to come. Here's to two amazing people that I love so very much. I met James at MSOE, I think it was sophomore year. Uh, we had fluid dynamics together. And I'm sure you've all heard it, but James's laugh, it is just contagious. <laughs> we cracked a whole bunch of jokes and shortly became really good friends. And I have to say, James is one of the best friends a guy can ask for. Uh, James and Caitlin really do bring out the best in each other. I think they really know how to light up a room, bring love and joy to everyone in it and everyone here. And I really do wish you guys the best in the future. To James and Caitlin. from our past, despite your growing up way too fast. We can't wait to see what adventures await as you and your husband proceed out that gate. And now that you will always be the sweet little girl by our side, but today we are thrilled to celebrate our daughter, the bride.
best friends fall in love together is nothing short of amazing, and I feel incredibly blessed to have seen this come to fruition. Seeing all the smiles and laughter, the memories and adventures these two have shared together make my heart truly smile. You're gonna do amazing things, and I'm glad I just get to be a witness along the way. Thank you.